the night sky is so beautiful right after a storm. Rescued me. Her voice. I guess. Then you boys got to practice. You follow Flounder. He'll show you what to do. Come on, Sora. You can do it.
We have visitors. King Triton. I certainly hope there hasn't been a need to use that keyblade of yours. Nope. Everything's fine. Not a heartless in sight. Your Majesty, our guests, they want to sing in the musical. Well, that sounds like a splendid idea. We may need your help after all. You see, I'm afraid Ariel's still infatuated with the human world. A busy rehearsal schedule might be just the thing she needs to stop thinking about life up on the surface. Just join in huh? the song, a musical for everyone to have a lot of thinny fun. That's the voice I heard. I'm sure of it. Hello? Where are you hiding? I know you're the girl who saved me. Please, uh, come out so I can thank you. Ariel? That girl's acting strange again. Probably been flitting around on the surface. Oh, the Sea King's gonna have my claws for this! Come on, we gotta keep rehearsing. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like it. No, Ariel! I've got an idea, Sebastian. You do? I know how to cheer Ariel up. Come on, follow me!
Wow! This place is kind of different. Something's up. Organization 13? On the hot list. Only one way to find out. Aztec treasury! Aye, and thanks to the curse put on it, we are neither among the living, nor the dead. Really? Cause you look like regular pirates to me! Ah, but in the moonlight... Whoa! Now I get what you were saying! Hmm. Well, if you see two doofuses and a brat holding a keyblade, steer clear. They got a kind of magic that don't belong in this world, see? And nobody knows what it'll do to you. Especially when the moon's showing what you really are. A match for Barbosa, you say? Hey! See there? I knew it. <laughs> Those are the punks I was telling you about. Who are you calling punks? It's Sora, Donald, and Goofy to you, and don't you forget it! That we won't, and we'll engrave it on your tombstone, to be sure. Whoa, I like your style. Man, half of you stay here and indulge these cullies. The rest, bring me that medallion. Aye! Aw, oh, we only get to stomp on a few of you? Heh <laughs> heh. Yeah. It's no use. We can't beat them. I what do you expect? You best be saying your prayers. Hey, watch out! They could see you! Stay away from their magic! What for? Weren't you listening to me before? Hey Pete, thanks for the tip. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
me! Let me go! Elizabeth! Stop! What are they? It's the Red Wolf! Red Wolf! We'll deal with them. Go! Take cover! Too late! Huh? Those pirates kidnapped my swan and took her to their ship. Now they've sailed, and I'll never be able to find her. Then she's long gone. The Black Pearl is nigh uncatchable. Best find yourself another girl, mate. You? What are you doing aboard the Interceptor? She's off limits to civilians. Ah, fortunate that I'm going to commandeer her then. Should make a fine pirate ship. A pirate? Captain Jack Sparrow, if you please. Take me with you. Help me hunt down the Black Pearl and save Miss Swan. I got you out of that jail cell, Sparrow. Do this, and your debt's repaid. You'll have to win Fair Lady's heart alone, mate. I see no profit in it for me. Come on, Captain. Are you sure you can sail her? All on your own? You've a point there. Thanks, Sparrow. Captain Sparrow. I'm Sora. This is Donald and Goofy. I'm Will Turner. That will be short for William, I imagine. No doubt named for your father, eh? Yes. Well then, Mr. Turner, you get us ready to make way. I have some effects to liberate. Aye, aye. But hurry! Naturally. Sora! You really want to be a pirate? Of course not. What do you make of this will? I don't know. We just met him. Oh, I 
think my luck's about to change. You can release me! You have your trinket! I'm of no further value to you! This is no trinket, Missy. This is cursed Aztec gold. One of 882 identical pieces they delivered in a stone chest to Cortez himself. I hardly believe in ghost stories anymore, Captain Barbosa. That's exactly what I thought. Buried on an island of dead, what cannot be found except for those who know where it is. Find it, we did. There be the chest. Inside be the gold. And we took them all. We spent them and traded them and fritted them away on drink and food and pleasurable company. The more we gave them away, the more we came to realize the drink would not satisfy and food turned to ash in our mouths. We are cursed men, Miss Turner. Compelled by greed we were, but now we are consumed by it. How very sad for you. <laughs> there is one way we can end our curse. All the scattered pieces of the Aztec gold must be gathered and restored to the stone chest. And the blood of every soul who touched a piece of the treasure must be repaid. Miss. Turner, for ten years we've searched every league of these waters, every town and village, preying on sailors and settlers alike. 881 pieces we found, but despaired of ever finding the last. All those years, you've been safe in your bed, reading your pirate stories, dreaming of adventures in the high seas, weaving to your torments worse than death itself. But now, thanks to ye, we have the final piece at last. When this medallion is restored to the chest, we'll be free to roam the seas as men. No longer will we be ghosts. And the blood that's to be repaid? That's why there's no sense to be killing you. Yet. See, the moonlight shows us for what we really are. We are not among the living, and so we cannot die. But neither are we dead. I've suffered too long. You'd best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. For you see, tonight, you're in one. Hehehehe. <laughs>